those lousy, rotten pigs. No. No, the police were just doing their job. They're not the ones to blame. Not the ones to blame? Well, now, you two make it sound like this guy was strolling down the street minding his own business instead of trying to blow up a bank. Now, you tell me, who the hell is to blame? All those people hurrying to work who heard about this on their car radios or read about it sipping their orange juice and said, good, he got what he deserved, and then tossed it away instead of asking why he was trying to blow up the place to begin with. He's right, Ron. Everybody's in his own little bag, and as long as whatever happens doesn't affect him, he doesn't give a damn. I don't buy that, and you know it. But I do agree with one thing. When a guy comes to rob a bank, the motive is clear. Or at least it seems to be. When he comes to blow it up, then the reason has to be more important than the act. And I intend to find out why. Because it's your job. You're damn right. And you make no mistake about it. I'll come up with the facts, all the facts, because it is my job and I enjoy it. Now, you two can worry about the social crusades. I'll see you tomorrow. A guy like that is worse than a thousand who drink their orange juice and dismiss it. Because they don't think about it. They don't know where it's at. He does. And he ignores it. What the hell do you see in him anyway? Oh, Randy, we fight like cats and dogs, and I can't think of a single thing we agree on. But there are moments when bridges two people in love for an inch of common ground. Yeah. Well, one day you're gonna have to choose between what makes you happy and what you believe in. Yeah, I know it. I try not to think about it, but I know it. Okay. Look, I want to meet tonight. Just the keys. Late by the river. Randy. Please, don't. Hey, I'm not. I'm at the same place you are. It's just that neither one of us got there by choice. Control violence that I can point to and say I understand and therefore can stop. Now, they may not believe me, but they can be scared into voting for me. So we throw the bombs and take the bullets and maybe you win. And then what? I don't know. I try to change things legally, but in a hurry. There are no guarantees. You're a dreamer, man. There ain't but one way to change this shit. Tear it all down and start all over again. Maybe. But if I lose or if I win and don't succeed, that alternative is still open to you. Let's cut out all the words and get down to what it's really all about. You need our help. What do we get out of it? You're no better than those blue bloods on the hill. You don't give a damn for the guy who works his ass off for nothing, comes home to nothing, and whose kids grow up to more of nothing. Keep him down or blow him up. What's the difference? Now, hold it, both of you. Hey, what's with you anyway? Do you really want to help anybody? Or are you just an overgrown juvenile delinquent who got tired of firecrackers and went on to bombs? How would you know where I'm at, sis? You ain't graduated from carrying posters on the picket line yet. Oh, yes, I have. I'll admit that in the beginning, I thought all that was needed to get things started was enough intelligent dialogue between everybody. Well, that was a joke, of course. So I took my turn on the picket lines, but nobody even recognized why we were there. Or maybe now that I think about it, they did recognize why we were there, but they didn't want to admit it. 
They clubbed us over the head and kicked us to the ground and turned their fire hoses on us. Now I'm where Randy's at, and maybe that won't even work. Maybe we'll have to blow this whole damn city sky high after all, but we can always do that tomorrow. Let's give him his chance today. Words, baby. Words. All right. Let's talk about realities. Now, where can bombing after bombing lead? You're alienating even the people who want the same ends you do because they can't buy your needs. But eventually, you push the other side to where they strike back openly and with equal violence. Then the people who believe like you do can rationalize violence. Then they fight, and then you've got your revolution. Agreed. And if it comes to that, we'll be right there beside you. But it doesn't have to come to that. Look, the people who truly want change will vote for Randy regardless of his color. And with your help, those who don't can be forced to rationalize voting for him. Then we've got a political reality right now, today. She makes more sense than you do, bro. Now, let's get this straight. From right here on, nothing happens unless I ask for it. And when I ask for it, it happens. Mr. Johnson, you've stated you're running as an independent and would accept the endorsement of neither party. Why? Uh, because neither would want me. No, I'm running on the issues that affect this city and on my reputation as a man to deal with them as I say I will. And you don't need a party for that. What you need is a public that's willing to listen and to think. What are the issues? The basic issues consolidate into one thing, equality. You see, what you've got here is a situation where there's a norm for a level of housing, education, and income. Now, one group is expected to attain it, while for another group, attaining it is an accomplishment. What's unequal about that? What's unequal about it is that one group starts at that norm, while the other group starts way below it.